Okay, welcome back, dear friends. This time, I'd like to go through the machine of the sick horse on the one hub. I will add the link into the description section below so that you can download it. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. This will help me very much. So. Without further ado, let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported the machine into the VMware workstation. So now we can go inside the Kani Linux VM. As you can see, I have already discovered the IP address of the target as 215. And then I did the map scanning with options like uh, since again, the virtual scan, the default script scan and also the comprehensive scan as usual. So from the map scanning results, as you can see here, the two open ports on the target. The first one is 22, which is running SSH surface and, and also the actual version information. As we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. The second one is 80, which is running HTTP surface and also the actual version information. So what we are going to do next is to do emulation for the 80 port. Let's fire up our browser. Maybe I can close. And specify the IP address of the target. Yeah, the, this is just uh, one picture, and uh, also you can check the source code. And uh, let's scroll down to the bottom. Yeah, there is one comment, but uh, nothing useful. Nothing is here, in here, okay? And uh, the next thing we can check whether the site has robots file. But not found. So next we can use the Likto, you know the Likto can to do some emulation. And this can give us the information about the software, like misconfigurations, like the common files or directories. So we just wait for this to be completed to see what information we can get. Also, you can check the version. You know this version of a PHP, but uh, I cannot find uh, some useful exploit for this version. Yeah, it take a bit a long time. I don't know. Yeah, it's done. Now we can use the GoBuster to do some to do some directory emulation. GoBuster IP address and the word list directory. Yeah, this this is my. This is always my first with a list to emulate directly. Let's hit enter. Yeah, we got the second, the second uh, directly. Or maybe th this is the first directly. Anyway, we can check on that. But uh, index of text, nothing there. And also, we don't need we don't need to make furthermore emulation for this directory because under this test directory, there's nothing. 
So maybe we can use the Q Q command to to see the the interactive information between the client or our own machine and the and the target. Let's hit enter. Yeah, we got the yeah the result mark bound us not supporting multi case. Mm. Nothing useful. So maybe we can use the option capital X to to see what kind of methods are provided by this directory. As you can see, yeah, allow the put. You know the put is very dangerous method. It allow us to upload information to the target. So I think what we are going to do next is to install the web shell. How to do it? We can use the queue and the, the, the method is a put, right? And uh, the data is, of course, you can get the, the instruction of the queue command. Okay, I'm here. As you can see, we can use the D option to specify the data, okay? So we can use Q, X, put, and the D. We want to write PHP or web shell system. Okay, and uh, we want to write or upload this information to the target, the test, and the file name. We can name it, name to any file name. For example, like this one. Let's hit enter, and now we can. Maybe we can access this file. Shell PHP and the parameter is CMD ID, but nothing. So maybe there's something wrong. The X put the D system. Oh, I think uh, this should be capital. Which is fine. Yeah, we can run the command ID. Next, we can get the reverse shell. And uh, for example, we can check if whether the site or the tag has Netcat installed. Although the Netcat is there, but um, we cannot make a successful shell or reverse shell and you can check on that of course we can get the help from the you can check on that reverse shell cheat shit from the pen test monkey and we can check on that make a copy and we can Modify the IP address to our own machine. And uh, the port number is 444555. Let's make, can make a copy and go back. But of course, we need to set up the listener and go back our browser. Let's hit enter. But uh, Nothing returned. Or also, neither we could get the reverse shell. Maybe we can run the bash.
we get the same result. So also we can change the port number. You know, sometimes the target will have some firewall. We'll block some port number. So we can change to 443. 443 is very safe port number. And we can modify this one to 443. But uh, also failed. And next we can try the Python. I've already made a copy. Of course, we can check the Python, the version of the Python. Yeah, Python 2 is there. I have already made a copy. And we can run. And can paste in here. The port number is 555. We can change it to the my favorite port number. And now let's hit enter. Although it looks like it's working, but uh, if we go back to our terminal, the shell, the reverse shell didn't succeed. Okay? So maybe the problem is caused by the firewall on the target. We can change to the 403 and go back to our. We can change this port number as well. And now we can go back. Yeah, we have already got the reverse shell. And we can make it interactive. And now we need to elevate our privilege. First, we can do, do some, we can do some immersion, local immersion. There is just only one user, but nothing there. And of course, you can upload like an NPR share script, but I will not do that now. And we can make some information about the cron job. daily yeah as you can see yeah the, the there are several cron jobs running on the target but this one got our attention we can check the version of this command as you can see this is the version of the check check loot kit and we can go to the bing check kit exploit yeah yeah there's this version of check check loot kit does have a vulnerability and this is the poc the steps to reproduce involve two the first one put an executable file named update with a non loot owner of course in this case we are ww data and then because the the cron tab or cron job will run the check check loot kit automatically so we do not need to run this one manually and go back to our terminal so now we so what we can we do maybe we can uh, manipulate or modify the permission for the password file so how to do it we can echo change mode and uh, password to update yeah the name should be update and uh, we can make it to have full permission and now i think we just wait for uh, some time and check whether we have as you can see the at the moment any loot user can make a change to the password file and we wait for some time yeah maybe we need to wait about one or two minutes Check it again. 
Yeah, as can see, the permission has been modified by the update, and this update is executed by the ch check root kit. So then, as 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 yeah, now our current user www data can make a change to this file, so we can generate our own user, and this user will have the full privileges. And we can cut the content, and we can make a copy, and we go back to our notebook. And the next, we can create the username as Bob. But we need to generate the, the password for this user, our own user. The command is open. I'd like to autocomplete this command. And the sort value is JSON. Of course, you can use any value to be sort. And let's hit enter. And this is the encrypted password. And we can copy and replace this X by our own encrypted password. And we can make a copy. Yeah, this is a very common technique when we do the local privilege escalation. We can echo and can append to password file because now we have a right to make a change to this file. Now we can switch our shell to the Bob and uh, the password is one, two, three, four, five. And six, and uh, as you can see from the banner, we have already become the root user. Then we can get to the root directly, and then we can get the root flag. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We have already completed this machine. Yeah, this machine mainly involves the exploitation of a check root kit. You know, the version has the vulnerability. So I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a good day.